In this grasshopper tutorial for beginners, I'm going to explain how you can produce the differential growth pattern on a mesh uh, simply step by step in grasshopper. So we're going to cover how to produce the base curve, how to give it some volume using the dendro plugin and finally produce the mesh. Okay, let's get started from scratch. In this grasshopper example file, I want to show you how we can simulate a simple curve bending in grasshopper. Uh, as you can see here, I can change the different parameters which is related to the bending. Uh, also, I can say that are these uh, curves touching each other or not. So you can see here, it's actually in the opening and the clothing of the curve. Uh, also, we have some parameters I'm going to explain. Uh, I can increase or decrease the number of curves we have here. We're also going to talk about some details we can control. Uh, for example, the extension you can see here we can control. Uh, another extension we can control here. And also an offset which is going to be the thickness at the bottom of the curves. Uh, finally, we can just uh, locate the parts or uh, whatever we want and also control the thickness and uh, have the details. So let's take a look at this example file and the steps we have to take to make the curve bending in Grasshopper. In this paracourse lesson, I want to show you how you can model a parametric bench by defining a section, the thickness, uh, also some scaling technique, which I'm going to explain how you can make that. Uh, and finally, we're going to talk about how we can uh, define the section and get the final results. So this uh, beginner's lesson is going to help you to understand how to make a parametric bench step by step by defining a section, a starting point to learn orient and finally scaling in different directions. Okay, let's get started from scratch. Now that we have produced this uh, tool, which is going to count the number of curves, uh, I want to also show you an additional example file, which I've uh, produced a grid in the XZ plane. And as you can see, I can change the number of X and Y, and then uh, produce a random seed, which is going to uh, distribute these three curves uh, on this grid randomly. And uh, we're going to use the final uh, algorithm, which is the counting algorithm, to count how many we have uh, in this distribution. So we're going to learn how to randomly distribute a series of curves, uh, which is actually in a square bounding box into a grid, and then use the final algorithm to count the final results. Okay, let's get started. Okay, now that we have learned uh, how to voxelize a mesh, which it's going to be a cluster you can download. Uh, we want to also make this into a smooth mesh. So as you can see here, uh, I can have the voxel of the mesh. But now what I want to do here is to learn how to make this into a smooth mesh and convert it back into something like that. We're going to use the Dendro plugin and I'm going to explain it step by step. So let's get started. In this grasshopper tutorial for beginners, I want to explain uh, how we can define an ellipse uh, by defining two number sliders, as you can see here. Uh, then we're going to define how many uh, number of divisions of pattern we're going to have on this, as you can see here, uh, by increasing that the pattern is going to increase on the ellipse. Uh, then we're going to uh, control the pattern by an X move and a Z move, as you can see here. I can also give it a height so you can understand it better. So this exercise is going to help you to understand uh, how we can play with the patterns and repeats in Grasshopper. Uh, then we're going to also control the overall shape of the surface with an offset as you can see here. Also the number of arcs we're going to use to make the final surface. As you can see here, I can increase the arcs to make the surface. And then we're going to use the Kangaroo plugin to convert it into diagonal pattern, which is not really that important, but you can uh, convert the shape into a diagonal pattern and also give it a thickness by using the Viverbird plugin. So this uh, tutorial for beginners is going to help you to understand patterns, uh, how you can use the ArcSED tool, which is really great if you want to 
uh, make a parametric surface from it and then finally give it a diagonal pattern using the kangaroo plugin okay let's get started from scratch uh, first what i want to do is to make an ellipse so i'm going to go to curve uh, primitive and use the ellipse command uh, this uh, component, uh, let me just also put the draw form names here, uh, is obviously a plane. If you connect a params menu point to it and set a point, this is going to help us to control the location of the ellipse wherever we want. Uh, also, we can give a number slider to here to the radius 1 and radius 2. That is going to control the overall shape. Okay, that is the first step, which is going to be the ellipse. The next step is going to be uh, the pattern we want to make on the ellipse. So for example, if I want to make a pattern, uh, assume that we divide this into a series of points and then move these points in a direction. So in this lesson, we're going to learn about planes. So assume this is a perpendicular frame uh, or plane on this uh, ellipse then we can move this in the x direction which is local on this curve and also the y direction and then we can make a parametric curve which is going to be the second curve we're going to use and then use it for the arc so in this simplified example file i want to show you how you can use this parametric pattern uh, produce this parametric pattern in grasshopper as you can see here uh, i can change the height of this uh, shape uh, the upper radius and the lower radius which i'm going to explain step by step the number of counts we have on this surface uh, also i'm going to explain uh, the rotation which is going to produce the pattern and also the movements finally we can also increase the numbers of this pattern uh, on the height and get the final results okay let's get started and see how this example file is working 